What's up everyone and welcome back to Movie Race. The talented actor who came from nothing to something, Jacob Elordi, has become a teen heartthrob after his role in The Kissing Booth. But when did he start his career? When did he rise to prominence? In today's video, we will discuss this and all of Jacob's movie roles and actings. Number 9. Bad Dream Following his role in The Kissing Booth, Jacob Elordi started his modeling career. Well, after that, he appeared in the music video for Bad Dream by Emma Zander. Uploaded on September 6, 2019, the video shows that many fans listened to the song just because of Jacob Elordi's appearance. The video gives us a flashback from the 70s, and it has a choreographed scene that highlights women at the Tupperware party. In the video, Elordi and Xander go into some really hot and heavy scenes where they're a couple that has lost its chemistry. The video is ending with a third person helping them get back their chemistry by going into their bedroom. It's quite normal to see Elordi in such a video since he's known as the bad boy from the kissing booth. The comment section is proof that aside from the great song, fans are going crazy about the video since this is where they can see Elordi's passionate side. Number 8. Euphoria The reason for Jacob Elordi becoming a teen heartthrob might be because of his role in the kissing booth but his performance in HBO's Euphoria tells us that he is one of the Hollywood's rising stars and his career is at the very start. Each character of the show Euphoria tells a different story, and the story often ends with a powerful and sad message. But Jacob's character seems to have the most effect on the audience, since his career is one of the worst villains on TV that you have ever seen. Again, he plays the bad one. What's up with Jacob and the bad boy characters? Jacob's complex character, Nate, hides so much, and with every episode, fans just find out more and more about this guy's evil plans. If you haven't watched Euphoria yet, we'll try to bring you the picture of Nate. Nate fights with his sexuality, and he spends most of his time struggling with his father, played by Eric Dane. And he's also navigating the family's mysteries by blackmail and, of course, violence. And guys, just imagine Jacob Elordi playing in a Quentin Tarantino movie. Wouldn't that be fantastic? However, he attracts Jules, Hunter Schaefer, into a loving relationship. Well, at least that's what Jules thinks. But he shows her the opposite, and he's often seen showing violence to his girlfriend, Maddie. So, this is just another character where Jacob is the best at exposing some bad boy issues. Have you guys watched Euphoria? If yes, what do you think about Alordi's character? Number 7. The Very Excellent Mr. Dundee Let's go back to the 80s. You guys remember Crocodile Dundee? Or maybe one of its sequels starring Australian hunk Paul Hogan in the lead role? Well, in July 2020, The Very Excellent Mr. Dundee was released on Amazon Prime in Australia and New Zealand. Hogan is again the lead role and Jacob Elordi is the Australian hunk who plays as Chase in the latest Dundee film, together with John Cleese, Chevy Chase, and Olivia Newton-John. Maybe you've seen Elordi in the trailer, or maybe you have watched the movie. And let's be honest here, among so many Hollywood stars, the young Jacob reached enormous success with getting this big role. Since theater is not an option in 2020, it's quite hard to watch this movie, but there's always an alternative. However, again, Elordi took his acting skills to the test, acting along with some of the most famous names in Hollywood, such as Lexi Underwood, Ali Cravalho, Melissa Barrera, for acting for a cause presentation of the Jane Austen classic, Pride and Prejudice. There he performed the attractive and rich Mr. Darcy who captivated the beautiful Elizabeth Bennet and many fans. Number 6. Pirates of Caribbean Jacob Lordy's first feature movie was Swinging Safari, but this is not the first movie he performed in. Actually, his first involvement in movies was in Pirates of Caribbean. My first film gig was as an extra in Pirates of the Caribbean when I was 17. He revealed to Just Jared, True story, look for a tall guy in a red coat. Many people stated that he is the man asking for a basket in the execution scene in Pirates of the Caribbean, but that's not Jacob, guys. The actor explained to GQ how he was just an extra. People are always trying to find me in the movie, and there are screenshots of me in the movie. No, he told. 
I was in the background of the movie, the actor continued, and you'll never find me. Well, there's our challenge for you. Number 5. The Mortuary Collection the amazing horror anthology The Mortuary Collection is about a young girl who attends a funeral in an old morgue and finds a secret room filled with curiosities. Later, she meets a towering mortician. According to the trailer, he takes her to see his collection, talking to her about deaths from 1950s through 1980s, a 50s housewife fights with a dark appearance in her bathroom, a 60s college boy gets a taste of his own fraternizing medicine, and a Sethi's man makes some hard choices about his partner, all ending in the 80s set, The Babysitter Murders. And the Mortuary Collection's cast is so talented, starring Ryan Spindle, Clancy Brown, Caitlin Fisher, Christine Kilmer, and of course, our Kiss and Booth star, Jacob Elordi. Have you guys watched the movie already? If yes, what do you think about it? Number 4. Deep Water Jacob Elordi teaming up with Ben Affleck? Well, it can't be better. Ben Affleck and Anna de Armas are the lead roles in Deep Water, and Jacob's appearance just makes this movie more enjoyable. He talked about working with Ben Affleck, and he informed us all about the movie. Over a video call from his home in Brisbane, Australia, for Variety's Power of Young Hollywood issue, he was asked to share his thoughts about being on Deep Water set with the star, Ben Affleck. Alordi stated that it was like a dream to him and was the most ridiculous thing ever. He said that he knew Affleck would be in the movie, and then he was also in his emails. He also said that Affleck is one of his idols, and that while growing up, he looked at him as one of the all-time greats actors. He remembered that they used to do scenes for Goodwill Hunting, 1997, in his acting school. Alordi shared that he has seen every single movie that Affleck has made. Number 3. The Kissing Booth and of course, where would Jacob Elordi be without his role in The Kissing Booth? His most famous and maybe most loved role as Noah brought him and is still bringing him an amazing success. The Kissing Booth 2 is currently one of the most watched movies on Netflix, and we can't wait for the third part which is already filmed and will be released in 2021. But despite his success in the movie, Jacob is getting criticized because of his face in the movie, the resting bitch face to be more precise. Fans link this to his breakup with his ex-girlfriend Joey King, which is also the lead role in the movie. Well, according to the actor, he did not have a terrible time filming The Kissing Booth 2. In fact, he enjoyed it, despite being on set with his ex. Jacob cleared up the mess about his role in a virtual interview with Access Hollywood as reported by Just Jared Jr. stating, I have a resting miserable face. Do you know what it is? It's because I'm usually thinking a lot like an insane amount about something ridiculous. So guys, all good with Jacob. Number two, Two Hearts. Hollywood's new favorite star got a role in Two Hearts in which he stars alongside with Riverdale star Polly Cooper, Tierra Scogby. The movie was shot in Vancouver and the pair posted pictures of their onset time on Instagram. They do look great together though, right? The movie is based on the novel, All My Tomorrows, a story of tragedy, transplant, and hope by Eric Gregory. Jacob's role is Chris and Tierra's role is Sam. We believe you know Chris's girlfriend. Another fact is that the book is based on the real life story of Chris Graham, a 19 year old freshman at Loyola University, New Orleans, who fell and died of an aneurysm with no warning. This story is written by Chris's father, Eric. Number one, Swinging Safari. Well guys, we bet you didn't know that Jacob has been in almost every movie genre at such a young age. He even had a small role in the raunchy Australian comedy Swing and Safari. He's damn good portraying the bad boy role, but Jacob is also good at being a comedic actor too. According to the film's director, Stefan Elliott, Jacob Elordi who played the lifesaver, what a gifted comedian that boy is. He stated in an interview with the AU Review, He's over in LA now and he's getting phone calls on how he's not just tall and good looking and all the things you want. He's got an impeccable sense of comedic timing. We would love to see him play in comedy again, but as it looks like he wants to go with dramatic roles, such as the case with Two Hearts and Deep Water. And before starring in Pirates of the Caribbean, Alordi took a role on stage in Susical the Musical, in which he played the cat in the hat. That's the end of our video, guys. Which role of Jacob Elordi is your personal favorite? Let us know in the comments section below. 
Make sure you like the video, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more amazing videos such as this.